Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in North Glen, Colorado, with the frauditor known as Amazing Audits as he attempts to, well, uh, hinder an investigation at a crime scene and ends up getting pushed back and then turns into a spoiled, petulant little man-child frauditor baby. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Keep going. Everything's being recorded. That's You're great. live, okay? Yeah, so are you. All over the fucking internet. So are you. Back the fuck up. Please socially distance yourself. Raffle. There's no tape up. Anybody with any common sense whatsoever would know better than to walk up onto an accident or crime scene, but we're not dealing with anybody like that. We're dealing with a frauditor here who has absolutely no common sense or common decorum whatsoever. He just wants to interject himself into a situation and become a total, well, jackass. Probably because he has no job prospects or any education or anything like that. You know, nothing to get be able to get him a good, decent job where he isn't going to be bothering anybody. You know, the kind of person, a total and complete loser. I just told you this the is a violation vehicles. of my press rights. I'm no, here acting sure as press. Isn't. It is too. Outside the emergency vehicles. I already told you that. Nope. This is yep. a violation of my press rights. Yep, that's our rights. Go ahead. Keep going. Hey, frauditor, did that the last sip of paint that you drank uh, totally rot your brain completely? Because you do realize that freedom of the press doesn't mean freedom to go anywhere you want. If the police need you to back away from the crime scene, you're supposed to do that so you don't hinder their investigation of what's going on and corrupt the crime scene. But of course, uh, you being a frauditor, you're obviously a criminal anyway. 99% of all frauditors pretty much have criminal records, and they wouldn't mind helping a fellow criminal out by tainting a crime scene and letting them get away with whatever it was that they did, because, you know, they're total anarchists who don't believe in laws anyway. Are you saying you don't care about our rights? I'm saying you have to be outside our crime huh? scene. Are you going to bump me or what? No. Back up! Hurry up! Back up! You ain't seen yet, Raffle. Back up! Scared of you? Why are you trying to intimidate me? Look at that, people. Look at that right there. Look in his eyes. Cold ass eyes. Perfect. There you go. Devil eyes. Demon eyes. eyes. No, I need your card right now. Damn, dude. I don't think you'd uh, do very well at a professional news organization, considering how many swear words I've tried to cut out of your video already. Must be a dozen by now, and there's still at least five minutes of the video left. I wonder how many more you'll uh put out. I mean, what reputable news organization would even hire you? You have no professional standards whatsoever, which is probably why you're un unemployable. I need your f***ing card. Quit resisting. Give me your f***ing card, Raffle. I need his card. I don't have his why card. are you guys being dirty f***ing cops, huh? You're getting a complaint. You you're getting a complaint too, Raffle? Let me talk to the supervisor, please. I want to speak to your... Yeah. Yeah, Bozo, how many times is that actually going to work out for you? Get me the manager, and all of a sudden the manager agrees with his subordinate that the guy should not be near the crime scene. I mean, it's only common damn sense, which is not so common when you're a moronic frauditor. Yeah, that's what you should have did before you trampled my rights, douchebag. That's what you do. That's how you can do it. I could walk up to the tape, idiot. Dumbass! You're gonna cause a disturbance, you're gonna get arrested. You're a dumbass, and so are you. And you're a whiny crybaby man child who thinks that he's been granted special rights and privileges by the First Amendment above anybody else because, well, freedom of press when it's actually not that way, you moron. Freedom of the press simply means you can publish your story without government interference. Speaking of which, you were able to publish this on YouTube without government interference, so you were free to publish it, you dipshit moron. 
What kind of disturbance is that? First Amendment rights. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? I'm behind the yeah, tape now. You back up. back. Yeah. Now you back up. Yeah. Get behind the yeah. tape. What a bunch of D-bags Northland is being right here. Fully getting complaints. All of you. Yeah, it's hilarious, huh? They violated my rights. Veterans fought for these rights. Oh, glory fly, flies high, but it's a laughing matter to you, huh? The officer who got out of 208 finds it to be the funniest matter of all. Let's find out. Let's find out. Go ahead. What's that, man? Let's hear it. Let us hear what you have to say, man. What? You didn't even see what happened, idiot. Again, dude, uh, I mean, come on now. No professional journalism standards whatsoever with you. I mean, now you're attacking the average person out here, not just the officers, but the average Joe. I mean, come on now. Dude, I thought uh, you were a journalist. I thought you were a man of the people. No, you're nothing more than a schmuck at this point. I can see what's happening right here. Yeah, go ahead. Speak on it. What do you got to say? The We're here. The behind We're... the camera has about this many intelligence. <laughs> That much is clearly obvious right there, my man. In addition to that, uh, the F-bomb is clearly his word of choice when he's getting frustrated. And, uh, well, I'll save it to the end uh, for how many times he's actually used the F-bomb in this five-minute video that he put up. I mean, so far, my uh, video editor has told me what it is and... Uh, any sane person wouldn't use that many freaking F-bombs in less than five minutes. I mean, come on now, dude. But I'll show you what it looks like at the end of the video. Is that right? You don't even know what you're talking about, but you came over here to say something to the news, right? Go ahead. You're live. Let the world hear what you think. You want people to respect what you're saying? You have to have respect along with... You don't respect the rights? Your own rights? I do. You don't respect your own rights because when my rights get trampled, your rights are trampled. Dude, your rights were never trampled in this video. You're uh, pretty much being a Karen frauditor, overreacting to essentially nothing. Well, not exactly nothing, considering that you were asked to back away from a crime scene, which is a perfectly reasonable thing to do, considering they don't want to contaminate the area with people like you, obviously. My rights just got trampled, and you, sir, are defending it. No, I'm not defending You it. are, indeed. I'm defending you acting this way towards anyone is not being... I am acting as press. So I did not threaten you. It's probably best if you just go I outside. didn't say you threatened me. We were having a conversation. Okay. I don't know why he's interrupting it. I and once again, you. you're Thank being you. real douchebaggy. Thank you. Here you guys go. Douchebag one and douchebag two of the day right here. Check them out. So stand in front. Get behind the yellow tape. You're not needed here. You're just missed. Bye. Yeah, it's hilarious. Bye. You are, Catch you later. You are. Yeah, we'll be spending a lot of time in Northland now. Thank you. Dumbass. That's what it really is. Their egos got offended, so they threatened me with jail time. They got the neighbors out here. Didn't even know what the was talking about to come and say some shit he wants his rights respected his property rights are important but our first amendment our li rights to liberty life liberty happiness none of that matters if it's mine and there he goes revealing the crux of his argument right there the fact that he and he alone has had his rights violated that he feels like He's being persecuted. No, dude, you're not being persecuted. You're just a Karen frauditor, a total moron, and that's what you are. That's all you ever will be. And you know what? Like I said earlier in the video, I was going to uh, post the amount of times that you use the F-bomb in that short amount of time. Well, according to my uh, video editor, it was approximately... Well, 24 times that you use the F-bomb in less than five freaking minutes, dude. That 
is really pathetic. So my suggestion to you, Frauditor, is go find a damn dictionary and uh, find some uh, other swear words to use because overusing one word kind of makes you look like a uh, moron. So just expand your vocabulary. Make yourself look a little bit smarter than you actually are. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?